Hey everybody, my name's Gene and I'm a linebacker for the Miami Dolphins. All right, that part's a lie, but I am a graphic designer and illustrator and I've been working in the industry for about 15 years. And today we're doing our paper craft series and the reason that I kind of lied to you and told you that I am a linebacker in the Miami Dolphins is because we're making a football goalpost today out of paper. So this should be pretty fun. Let's grab some paper, grab some markers so that you can color it to the uh, colors of whatever your favorite team is and let's get started. All right, so for paper football, Goal post. Uh, there are two main goal posts. There's the H goal post and there's the Y. We're going to focus on the, the H today because it's real fast and easy, but I, we can also show you how to make the Y uh, if you just extrapolate some of the ideas that we use here. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut myself three strips of paper that are about the same length. When we do that, we just fold this guy over, or we can just put this one on top of this one. You can use a ruler. I'm just doing this really quick. two and three you can discard the rest and then what you're going to do is you're going to fold this into quarters so we'll fold it in half and then we'll fold each of those halves in half And then you're going to have a square, but in this case, I'm going to fold it over so that it's a triangle. And I'm going to use some duct tape here. Because let's face it, this is a football goal post, and it's going to be pretty roughed up because it's football. and Football is a rough sport. So I wouldn't recommend using scotch tape here because scotch tape is pretty flimsy. Do that two more times. I'm gonna fold this in half. I'd use duct tape. In fact, once you're done, you probably should just cover the whole thing in duct tape along with your entire house or apartment. Let's cover everything in duct tape. Duct tape just makes everything safer. I was gonna cover my car in duct tape, uh, drive down the road with it, but unfortunately, as I started, a cop came by and he told me that I was not allowed legally to have anything on the windows uh, that would cover up the windows entirely. So there went the dreams of my duct tape car. Uh, right down the road. Okay, so we we'll do the same thing here with the triangle business. And we're going to duct tape that real quick. All right, so we got two triangles. And then we're going to do the same thing with this other one. However, we're going to cut it down the center first. Fold it in half. Oops. Fold it in half and then fold quarters. There we go. A little bit of duct tape action. And then what you can do. Let that truck pass by. And once you have that done, then you just duct tape it all together. And it'll be like a high school gold post. You can just put the one piece of tape along the back, put this piece of tape along the back here, roll it in. There you go. And the same thing on the other side. One of these, there we go. And one of these. And there you go, you got your classic H uh, goal post. Now, alternately, you can take this classic H design and instead of doing two down the, to the side like this, two long ones, you can make three shorter ones, uh, four shorter ones actually, and just put the, the one, two, three, and then the fourth one right down the center, and you've got your goal post. All right, so. What I recommend now is now that you have your goal post, you take and make a second goal post and then you make one of those little paper footballs and you just have fun playing a game back and forth where you try and make goals in each other's goal posts. Quick, fun little game you can have with your kids once you're done making everything. It's like a little payoff at the end. We spent all this time making something and now we get to have fun with it. Anyway, thanks a lot guys. Uh, I hope you learned something. I hope you had some fun and we'll see you next time.